uh, I'm happy for our guys. You know, I, I really felt like uh, over the course of the year, we've displayed just about everything. Toughness, softness, uh, resiliency. Um, we've been unselfish. We've been selfish. Um, we've, we've played hard. Sometimes there's spurts. But the, the one thing that we hadn't been ever during the course of the year is quitters until Friday. Friday was the first time that I felt like my team quit. So I don't know if you can see it on me, but I hadn't slept since then because that's tough. That's a tough pill to swallow. And, to the, to, and these guys uh, been doubting themselves for a couple of days. And I, I thought Sunday I was proud the way they came in and practiced hard and competed against one another. But you could still feel that air of doubt, you know, because they had a losing streak going. And for them to fight through tonight and find a way to win the game and to play well, to get 20 assists in the game and share the ball and defend and rebound, we still got to get better at playing without fouling. Obviously, that's a very good team that was a little bit shorthanded, but that doesn't matter. We just needed to win a game, and we did, and, and the kids deserve to feel good about it. Now we got to get back to work and, and continue the process of trying to get better. For as long as we got a chance to play, we want to continue to improve. And, and I thought tonight we improved some. I think we've improved as a staff over the last week, just dealing with a little bit of adversity and coming together and getting to know one another. And for those guys to feel my pain a little bit, it was good for him, right? And so, uh, so it was a good night. Happy for our guys. Happy for Chris on senior night to, to, to give us a really solid contribution with six rebounds. And uh, for Damon uh, to, to play the way he's capable of playing. And, and uh, we had a lot of guys do a lot of good things. So I'm proud for these guys and happy for them. I mean, just that. I mean, it was more of a willingness to share. You know, I just think uh, it's just an area where we've got to grow. You know, I think, uh, you know, I, I, it can't be understated that we do have a group of guys who haven't really done this before. We've got probably the most inexperienced upperclassmen of any good team that you'll find. So um, I, I think our strength when we play our best is on defense. You know, it starts with our defense, right? And when we're not guarding, we just try to outscore people and we kind of fracture a little bit there. And that's an area that we've tried to address. We made a point of it. And uh, to their credit, we, we, uh, we saw some returns today. And that's, that's when I say we got to keep getting better. We've got to, like we do every game, examine it and try to use it as a tool to get better. And uh, sometimes when you get to see yourself doing the right thing more, you know, uh, it becomes a nice tool. So they've provided that for us. You made a swap in the starting lineup. Here. You gave Chris a start, and then you also swapped Nelson in for Corey. Uh, what was the mindset for that, and did you get the output you were looking for with Chris? Yeah, I, I, I think Nelson just earned the opportunity. You know, um, you know he's practiced well, um, and his attitude and everything, his energy, his defense, I just thought uh, – we needed a spark defensively, and he obviously has done that throughout the course of the year. So I thought it'd be a good way for us to start the game. So it wasn't a matter of somebody coming out of the lineup as much as it was him earning an opportunity to uh, spark our defense a little bit. And and uh, certainly, obviously, he the run we had in the second half, he was he was in the middle of that and he did a great job. So. Um, and uh, I thought we had a good rotation, except for in the first half, we, you know, we had a couple guys in foul trouble, so we couldn't keep the pressure up because we were a little bit short rotation-wise because we just can't seem to play the game without fouling. And the young kid Johnson for them, he, he, he was a load for us tonight. He was a good player. Yeah, defense is just critical for our team. And I, I, I think, uh, you know, there was a time where we were one of the best defensive teams in the country, at least numbers-wise, in terms of guarding the three-point line and, and field goal defense. Um, we're obviously not as good as those numbers might indicate, but uh, it, it, it had been a strength of ours. And when we've played well in our wins this year, 
is a dramatic difference between our wins and our losses. We give up 67 points a game when we won conference games, and we've given up 80 when we've lost. So uh, there's a real correlation with that, and I think uh, I think we tried to drive that point home, and they responded, and we got to continue to to build on that. Yeah, I, I don't know if it's about momentum or putting anything in a bottle, really. I, I think it's more about, um, you know, it's a long year. Like I said, we've been a lot of things. Um, and more often than not, we've been resilient and tough, and we've had some fight. And we just need to get back to that aspect of our personality and, uh, and maybe, you know, put a little bit more value in one another and be connected. And, uh, you know, we, we – listen, I, I've told you guys this before – um, we say a prayer every every game, before and after, and we say we take a moment of silence for those less fortunate than ourselves because we get the opportunity to do what we love and we shouldn't take it for granted. And this whole experience is very fleeting. So when you get an opportunity as a young person to go through this journey together, try to make the most of it, right? And, and I, you know, that's why I was disappointed on Friday because I don't want these guys to regret this experience. And I think we walked out of here Friday with a great deal of regret. And if we go down swinging and we go down, then we shake hands, we go back to work and try to get better. But when you quit, you're gonna have regret. And so I think it's more about that than trying to bottle something up or whatever. Like, I just think we gotta get better. We gotta appreciate one another. And we gotta make the most of the time that we have because we don't have as much as we think sometimes. It wasn't a, an adjustment I made, but I do think it was a byproduct of the defense. You know, we got some some uh, open court opportunities that we finished. And then, like we talked about, the 20 assists, we shared the ball. And guys passed up some shots to get the teammate a better shot. And we hadn't been doing that, you know. So uh, that that's a definite uh, area that we need to, need to try to build on. We, we might need to bottle that. <laughs> Well, you know, I, I think you got to give our guys some credit. But, you know, they had the player of the year was out. You know what I mean? And so um, – and it still was a close game for a period. And you could tell our guys were like, oh, man, not again. You know, like we were we, – we, there was that, that doubt. And then we fought through that. And that, that was good. It was good for us to break through there. It didn't matter who was playing or wasn't playing. We needed that – we needed that experience. And we got it. But, you know, obviously if we get a chance to play them again, um, that little dude's going to be out there and – and uh, it, it'll be a it'll be a different challenge, but uh, you know I I don't think there's nobody that we play that we don't believe we can beat when we're right, and so we just gotta get right. Uh, Coach Cam Williams tonight you seem like you're in a zone offensively, leading your team in both points and assists. Can you speak a little bit to his performance and how that helps your team? Yeah, you know what, uh, uh, Kane Kane had a clear mind coming into this game, and uh, I thought it was good. We had a good talk. Last night, he and I, a real heart-to-heart. -heart. And uh, I love Kane. I really do as a person. I really trust him. Uh, I want his trust in me. I think he trusts me, but I want him to trust me more. I want him to communicate with me on a higher level um, because I want him to be a great player. He's very good. But I want him to become great, and I want him to become the leader that I think he's got the potential to be. And so I need he and I to have a different type of connection and uh, I thought he came into the game with a really clear mind and was focused on 
uh, playing the game in such a way that uh, it would give us the best opportunity to win. And I think the numbers reflect that. But with him, it's not really about the numbers. It's his impact on the game. And I thought he had a positive impact on the game. So I'm happy for him. Proud of him. I just want these guys to continue to, 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 like I said earlier, appreciate one another and play together. You know, um, I, I, I really want to develop Kane and Justin as leaders because they play the point guard position. But I'm not asking them to lead my team right now. I just want them to be aware of what that looks like and what it is and hope that we can develop them into that. Um, I think Dame is a guy who's got uh, a great motor and he's a great competitor. And so I don't want the ups and downs of the game to create ups and downs in his competitive nature. I want him to remain consistent in his approach. And that is a form of leadership, just doing your job and consistently doing your job. And so I think that's something everybody can do, the freshmen, the seniors. If they, if they focus on their job and put the team first, there's, a, there's, a, there's, a, there's some leadership in, in that. And then hopefully we want some guys like Kane and Justin, ultimately, whether it's now or in the future, to, to emerge and, uh, and take that whole leadership thing to another level. But I'm not dumping that burden on them. I just want to groom them for it.